guys, welcome back to Queens of Grace Unveiled. My name is Milka Rezena, and this is the second episode. So I'm super excited for today's topic because honestly, when the Holy Spirit led me to this topic, I was super excited because this was something I struggled with at the very beginning of my relationship with God. So being able to come back with my notes and being able to pour it into you guys is honestly an honor because being able to hear and feel and just understand the presence of God is something I feel like a lot of people kind of struggle with at the very beginning of their relationship with God. So I just feel like it's important to just go over proper like scripture points and just even just my own experiences on how I was able to understand the closeness and the presence of God. So I'm just going to start with just scripture, obviously, because I feel like a lot of us understand how important the Bible is and how we all understand that the Bible is the foundation of everything Christ related, but we don't understand the weight that the scripture carries. Like guys, literally the scripture is life. Like when you read the word of God and when you truly meditate on the things that are written, you'll start to understand that between every single word is a message that caters to the spirit of God that's in you and if you don't understand that the spirit of God is in you then you'll truly fear feel far from God because it's the spirit of God that's in you that makes you understand that God is with you at all times so so I'm definitely going to relate like everything back to just scripture and just specific um just specific scriptures that helped me truly open my eyes up to god so i want to start off with the first one which is john 3 16 and 17 and it says for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life 17 for god did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but the world through him might be saved okay so i feel like this is a very common scripture that we all read and all have heard at least once but i don't think at least for me personally i never understood how much this weighed because guys it literally talks about how because jesus gave his only begotten son right through him is how we receive everlasting life and i feel like understanding what jesus did for you is the beginning of feeling god right because at least for me, I remember at the very beginning when anybody would ask me about God or just Jesus in general, like, oh, like, do you know, like, anything? I'm like, mm -hmm, Jesus died for me. That was, like, my default answer, but I didn't know anything beyond that. Like, I didn't understand what came with the death of Jesus, if that makes sense. I just felt like me being able to understand that he died for me was enough, but that's really just the beginning because it's, it's through his blood that now we have access to God. And if you don't understand that, that will prevent you from feeling God. And the reality is God's not far from us. We are the ones that build that wall and make him feel so far because scripture says that it is no longer I who lives, but he who lives in me. So when you truly understand that the spirit of God dwells inside of you, your perspective of the nearness of God will shift because you'll realize like, whoa, okay, the spirit of god dwells in me so how can i be far from something that's inside of me you know and that like revelation really began once i started to meditate on the word of god not just read it because i have to read it read the bible every night or read the bible every morning no meditate like i spend time reading every single word sounding it out reading it out loud because the word of god is life so speaking it because i want to truly feel what the word of god is saying right so once you like this is really just the beginning of that for me so once you like meditate on the word of god that will open you up spiritually to to god for real like it will really make you understand how close god is you guys you know like this that yeah that was probably the first i guess um chapter in the bible that really opened my eyes up so reading just john in general really was really a plus for me um yeah and another thing that i feel like kind of i guess hindered um my mentality on the nearness and just feeling god was um feeling like because i'm a woman i can't do things for god or he doesn't use women and that's simply due to lack of knowledge right because the bible says my children will perish due to lack of knowledge so if you aren't open to learning and if you're not open to um just literally new knowledge that you've never heard before it will make you feel so far from god because one thing that i had um always in the back of my head was like okay because i'm a girl and this also has to do with how i grew up and the religion that i was once in so i like i grew up in a 
in an environment where if you're a woman, you can't really do things. There's no woman preachers. There's no woman pastors. There's no woman prophets. There's no woman evangelist. Like, of course, women could teach and do these things, but they're like, that wasn't your title. That wasn't something that God has ordained for you to do. It was more so something that you did because you love God, not because God has called you to do it. It was almost like women weren't called. So um, that also really kind of affected me from feeling God because I was like, oh, like, I guess it's not that God was for guys, but I felt like it was a man thing, like in a sense of God doesn't call women to serve him publicly or like in the pulpit or whatever, you know? And um, once I read Galatians 3, 26, 28, and mind you, I've read this before, but I'd never understood it the way I did until um, I genuinely started paying more attention to my relationship with God and just grew spiritually. Um, and it says, for all of you are sons of God through faith in Christ, 27 for as many of you as were baptized into christ have put on christ there is no jew nor greek there is neither slave nor free there is neither male nor female for you are all one in jesus christ because guys this scripture really 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 changed so much for me because the moment i realized that once you are born again, right, we are all sons in Christ, not sons as in just guys, sons in Christ as we all have the same spirit. We're all one. We're all one body. Once I realized that when like that was just honestly probably that like literally the icebreaker for me, I was like, OK, that just makes so much more sense because now I get it. Like I'm born again. I know I'm a child of God. I know I am a disciple of Christ. So this scripture really helped me realize when God sees me. He doesn't see Milka, the girl with the curly hair, the African woman. No, he sees the Jesus. He sees the spirit that he has now put inside of me, right? So that even just made me really just more comfortable with God and just literally opened me up spiritually in ways I didn't even understand at the time. Because I'm like, wow, like when God sees me, he doesn't see my body. He sees my spirit, right? Because we're all sons of God through faith in Jesus Christ. So even just to feel God, this even the scripture says you have to put on Christ, like literally put him on, meaning this is like like a new person, a new reality you have to now put on to feel God. Because without putting on Christ, you won't feel Christ, you won't know Christ, you won't understand Christ, right? So that is just such a really big and important thing that I feel like a lot of us lack because we kind of expect God to talk of, talk to us just to talk to us. No, like God talks to those who diligently seek him. He talks to those who are his children, right? So you have to put him on to feel him. So this scripture also just, I don't know, this just touched my heart in ways that I couldn't even explain that I knew I needed to talk about because I feel like especially a lot of girls who grew up in Ethiopian Orthodox um in the Ethiopian Orthodox religion, we have this persona, just this mentality of like, oh, as women, we can't do things because we don't see women preaching. Oops. We don't see women um, doing a lot of these things that the men do at church. So it kind of really put us in a box and made us feel, or me, I'll speak on me. It made me feel like, okay, the farthest I'm going to do for God or the farthest or the most that God wants me to do is show up for him at church, which is not true. We're called to all ends of this earth we're called to do the same things men do and that's not because of anything right it's simply because of the fact that we all have the spirit of god inside of us because we are all one body we're one spirit because when god sees anybody literally he says there is no jew nor greek there is no slave nor free there is neither male or female for you are one in jesus christ because now for those who put on christ when god looks at you he sees christ he doesn't see your gender he doesn't see what we think we don't he doesn't see what we see in the mirror when he sees us he sees the reflection of jesus in in us so that's just a really important thing to really understand um to feel God and just to understand how he operates because if you start to think God's looking at you because of you you missed it because there's nothing about us that's appealing or pleasing to God we're simply filthy rags in the sight of God literally the only reason God sees us worthy is because Jesus died for us and because of the simple fact that we're now putting on Christ so when you have that Christ dagger on all of a sudden you look like him you act like him you smell like him so God will give you his undivided attention you know Amen. So, yes, Galatians, that's also another um, beautiful, beautiful chapter in the Bible that helped me understand um, my literally who I am at the end of the day and just what God sees when he sees me. And the next scripture um, was Corinthians, 1 Corinthians. That, my goodness, I love 
Corinthians. And the scripture that I have here is 1 Corinthians 3, 16. It says, do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? Now, this scripture is so straightforward and real. Like, guys, like it's really important. And I don't know how, I say this all the time. I don't know how people take it, but I say, because this is just a reality. We are simply, simply just containers for the Holy Spirit that dwells in us, guys. There's nothing about us that, that, well, there's nothing about the body that matters, if that makes sense. Like, because the, think of the body as a purse, right? And the purse is just the, the, the container of the things that, that are inside of the purse. Because what's the point of the purse if you're not carrying anything in it? Because the purse is useless if there's nothing to put in it. That's what we are. We're simply purses for Christ. It's the spirit inside that this body carries that now makes us valuable in the sight of God. And that's the reality of it. Literally, it says, do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? We're temples of God. That's, that's, that's what we are, you know? And once you start to realize the the weight and just the spirit, the mighty giant spirit that's inside of you, you'll start to act like that. You'll start to feel it more. You'll start to understand like, my goodness gracious, like Jesus died for me and now I carry the spirit of God. Oh my goodness. Like it'll make you just carry yourself different because you know the spirit that's inside of you because it's no longer about you, you know, and it just makes you start to like just thank God and just honor him and just want to praise and worship him all the time because like for we're, we're we're literally nothing but now we carry the spirit of god in us and all of a sudden we go from zero to 100 i'm like oh my goodness like that scripture really opened my eyes to like wow like i really thought life was all about me 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 Mm-mm, it's all about god 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 because that's what makes us qualified in everything that we do it's the spirit that's inside of us so just be mindful of that and carry yourself in that way carry yourself knowing like okay my body and just even take care of your body take care of your temple because this temple right here is what is what protects the spirit that dwells inside of you so keep that in mind and just just keep your head up and genuinely carry yourself with that type of confidence because when you realize okay this right here carries the holy spirit you see yourself so different so different (laughs) um the next uh scripture from corinthians was first corinthians 6 19 and it kind of relates to 316. It says, do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? <laughs> Hello. Like heavy on the you are not your own, guys. We belong to Christ. So this body is a temple for the Holy Spirit, and we don't even belong to ourselves. So once you realize, okay, if I don't belong to myself, what am I doing here? Like, what am I here for? What is my purpose what is my significant like what am i here for right and that even really opened me up to feeling god more because the moment i started questioning my existence god's like now you're talking my language because now my perspective shifted from oh i'm here for me to okay i'm here for god because what am i here for so if i carry the the, this holy spirit if if my body's a temple for the spirit that dwells in me what am i here for what does this body need to do to make sure the spirit inside of me is being fulfilled like it's being is being used the way it's supposed to be used right having that mentality and having that perspective really will shift things for you and will open your eyes to feeling god right guys like it's really a perspective thing and it's a it's literally a mind shift and it's really reading the bible too because i'm telling you the bible is like the alignment to god so you need to read it and you need to understand that every hidden message every key to life everything's in the bible the bible is literally like a a, a guidebook to life it has everything you need to be successful in this life life not even just financially but spiritually physically mentally every type of leaves really you know so yeah that that was another scripture in corinthians that kind of just made me realize like forget far from god he's inside of me okay like he is with me at all times period so amen and oh romans romans was another one guys i just yeah no all these chapters are so good like i really 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 do think um as i'm going through these specific scriptures go back and write these down and read the entire chapter because you know 
I'm just pulling out the key points that helped me, right? So this is what the Holy Spirit highlighted in my walk with God that made me realize um, the the spirit of God that's inside of me and how I'm actually truly always with God and never far from him. So these are just my key points, but go and, go and read it because you're going to receive different revelations and different key points that the Holy Spirit's going to highlight for you. So, so please go back and write these down and read it to yourself. But the next one is Roman 8, 9 to 11. It's a long one, but stay with me. It says, but you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. Oh, if indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. And if Christ is in you, then the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Like... Being born again in Christ just makes you realize how much now you have to gain because sin is what made us dead. That's what made these mortal bodies die. This is that's what that is. It's because the spirit of God that's in us that now we have life. And like just guys, like it's this, I don't know how to explain it, but Romans really, really did open my eyes up to feeling God a lot more as well. Because once I realized, like, okay, like nothing about this, nothing about me is is fruitful is is beneficial is alive no like nothing about me is actually alive you know it's the spirit of god that now has brought life back to this sinful body right so once you realize that you will truly understand like my goodness god is man he he's sitting here with me right now like because there's no way i'm living breathing doing these things without him inside of me like it's again it's a mentality shift it's truly understanding and meditating on the word it's like okay god it's op- it's literally opening your eyes up to the truth because the bible is the truth right it's opening your eyes up to to understanding what jesus has done for you right it's almost like that's the thing i feel like the moment you you understand like deeply understand what jesus did not just like oh the healing and the saving and no once you truly understand the significance of everything you'll never question whether god's with you or not but yes so definitely romans um romans was a very very beautiful chapter for me that my goodness really changed things for me amen and yes proverbs 20 let's see Oh, yeah. Okay. So the reason I wrote down um, Proverbs 20 verse 5 is because I remember back when I was in California, um, I had this crazy revelation. And this was kind of around the time where I understood the presence of God and I understood... um, I knew I could hear from God and I knew I was grace enough to understand what he wanted of me and what he required of me and just all these things that led to my purpose. But... It wasn't until I read Proverbs 20 verse 5 that he really opened my eyes to to how much we can tend to to doubt like ourselves, if that makes sense. So Proverbs 20 verse 5, it says, counsel in the heart of man is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out okay so i have a quick story i want to explain about this because i remember i was talking to my best friend and she was kind of explaining to me how she was like on a rant about how um like during worship like when she's at service and during worship she's really shy like she's like i'm just super shy to like worship god and just kind of express myself and do this that and the third and um she's like but when i'm at home i'm open i'm you know i'm screaming i'm crying i'm doing all these things for god right and she's like i just don't know how to make myself that comfortable in a public environment And i was ministering to her and the holy spirit was using me at the moment saying like you know God sees your heart and he sees your intent. So when he sees you going out of your comfort zone and doing these things for him, despite what people think, he honors that, you know, God loves to see that we don't care what people think because man is not the key to salvation. God is right. So Jesus is. So it's just like I was ministering to her and explaining to her. I was like, yeah, like, you know, I get it. Like, because that's the thing. Like, I I used to be really nervous, but I'm not no more because I'm like, I don't care what y'all think. Y'all don't know what Jesus done for me, you know, so. I, I was just administering to her and explaining it. Woo, 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 then we ended the conversation. And then I remember I hung up and I felt this weird feeling. I was like, oh, God, like, I, you know, I think the Holy Spirit's like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for using me at that moment. But what is this feeling like? Why do I feel like we were preaching to the choir here? Like, what? Like, you know, so I was just, ta- you know, talking to God at the moment. I was like, God, like, I know I don't, I'm not shy when it comes to, like, preaching the word of earth 
uh, during worship or just even just preaching the word of God, like, why, why do I feel this like weird feeling in my stomach? And at that moment, the Holy Spirit spoke so crystal clear. He said to me, he's like, um, you feel this way because there are some areas in your life where you are shy to praise God. And I was like, wait, like if I'm like, okay, like at the moment, like at the time after I was talking to my friend, I didn't really think about any other area where I'm what, like where I'm worshiping God. So I'm like, wait, like, okay, if, if I'm really ever shy or to worship God in some areas of my life, why would you let me or why would you use me to minister to her? And, and that's when the Holy Spirit spoke to me about the power of the tongue. He spoke to me and said, the reason I had you minister to her is because I wanted you to understand the power of the tongue. And I wanted you to understand that it was me using you. I had you speak that onto her because if you understand the power of the tongue, you now know that once you spoke that, it won't fall. Because the same way God spoke life into this earth is it, and it happened, that's how much power we have in our tongues as well. When God said, let there be light, there was light. Now, when you speak to her and encourage her to worship God in all areas of her life, now you must as well because the words of God don't fall. I was like, no way. And he brought me back to Proverbs 20 verse 5. And he said, counsel is in the heart of man. Counsel in the heart of man is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. He said, you need to understand that counsel is in the heart of man, but only a man of understanding will draw it out because we need to realize all the keys, all the answers, we all have it inside of us, not because we know it, but because the spirit of God that dwells in us carries all the answers. And he wanted me to understand that. The moment you rely on the counsel that's deep inside of you, and if you have the understanding to draw it out, you can minister and help anybody. And he's like, I wanted to use you, and I wanted you to speak on that because although there are areas in your life that you tend to doubt, or not doubt, but you tend to be fearful of praising God at the moment because you're nervous, he's like, I wanted you to know that when you rely on me and when you understand who's inside of you, nothing matters, right? So at that moment, God or the holy spirit used me to minister to my friend to not only minister to her to encourage her and lift her up and to being more confident while praising god he used that as an opportunity to minister to me as well because although i was speaking to her but be although i was speaking to her it was the holy spirit speaking back to me right so me speaking that out was just now a form of god confirming if that makes sense like he's like you spoke it now now it wasn't you really it was the holy spirit speaking but now that god has spoken that it has to come to pass in your life as well the same way now she will not be confident while praising god so will you and all the other areas in your life that she were scared to do and for me personally it was this it was the podcast i was <laughs> hiding from it because i just i'm just super nervous um when it comes to things like this but even that really made me realize wow like the reason God wants me to do a podcast is not for me, but it's because inside of me, the spirit that dwells inside of me carries the counsel that though that others need. So that's what I mean by shifting your perspective and truly letting God minister to you and preach to you, you know, because it's like if you don't allow God to teach you new things or if you're just ignorant to understanding or ignorant to new knowledge, you won't. It's going to be hard to feel God or just to be even used by God. So, yeah that that was just like that's like my favorite story like the craziest revelation that and this happened like i was in the car <laughs> i was in the car and i was just talking to god about it and that's when he went boom 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 i was like wow like thank you jesus honestly thank you jesus because that really just gave me just so much confidence that with the things that i do for god it's not me it's literally the holy spirit using me as a vessel so it just makes me more confident like just to do it because i'm like it's not me anyway like, I'm really simply the container for what the spirit has to say. I'm just the the body that the spirit is using at the moment. So, so yeah, amen. That's, that was, that's just like one of my favorite stories. So I'm glad that was a crazy revelation for me. But yeah, I just have um, just a few, I guess, tips for you guys to help um, just feel God more um, that I also implemented in my life. So, and they, it worked for me. So I'm just going to give it to you guys. Um, so the first thing I wrote down was pray more and be intentional with the time you give to God. Okay, God is an intentional God. Every single thing he does has a meaning and has a purpose. So that's something that you need to implement into your life with God as well because intent is the biggest thing. So when you pray, be intentional. Be mindful of what you're praying for, okay? That's another really big thing too. Don't just pray um, 
like random default prayers that you pray every day. Be intentional. Know what your spirit is feeling at the moment. Know what you what you know God is requiring you of the moment. Don't pray for the same thing every day, which is good. Of course, pray for the same thing every day, but don't pray the same thing every day expecting the things that you didn't pray about to change when you're not paying attention to what you're praying for, you know? So that's something um, I wrote down. The second thing I said was to be open-minded. Be okay with learning from people who may not look like they are sent from God. But at the end of the day, God doesn't care about what we look like. We're just a container for the spirit that dwells in us. This is a very, very big thing too, guys, because... As human beings, we see the physical, right? So God sees the internal. So when we look at somebody, we automatically go, ooh, or no, there's no way God is using her. Or there is no way God is using that man. Like, don't be ignorant at the end of the day. God will use whatever he wants, whenever, however, whatever he wants to spread his glory. So understand that. It doesn't matter who it is. If you, if they're sent from God, they're sent from God. And there's nothing you could do about it, you know? So be open to learning from people. Be open to, um, to receiving knowledge from someone you may have never paid attention to in your life you know um so yeah just don't be ignorant and don't let your religious cultural ways prevent you from seeking the new things that god is trying to do in your life you know because if you're tied down to what you're used to how will you grow if you're comfortable where you're at how will you grow comfort belongs to the couch okay so please be open to receiving new knowledge from people amen um this the third thing i said read the bible okay period there's nothing to even elaborate just read your bible like literally read your bible like the bible is the only way that you'll understand a lot of things um that jesus did that god has for you just even reading like you know the old testament seeing what people did back then it'll really open your eyes to seeing the things that god will do now as well because if god's the same back then now and forever then the things that happened in the past must still be just as possible now so read the bible to understand what what can happen because a lot of people see see the work of god and a lot of people see the things that god does through people and think it's fake and it's like <laughs> you think it's fake because you don't have the knowledge from the bible so open your bible amen okay and the last thing i have i wrote down was to be willing to surrender and give up everything to God, you guys. That's a really big thing, okay? Part of what prevents you from feeling God is trying to play a role in it, okay? We are not here to do that, okay? If you want to feel God, you have to give it all to him. If you have an opinion, God's like, oh, you're not done yet. You know what I'm saying? So if you keep trying to put in your two cents into something, God's like, okay, so she's not done. I'm gonna let her be done. And when she don't want to do it no more, she gonna give it to me, you know, because God's patient. Amen. He gonna wait until you're ready. So genuinely be willing to surrender to God, have the mentality like, okay, I'm okay with not being in control. I'm okay with giving it to God and allowing him to do what he got to do. Because if you don't have that mentality, it'll really prevent you from hearing and feeling God. Because if you always have a comment or always have something you got to say, how will you know when it's God speaking versus your intrusive thoughts? So just be mindful of that. Be mindful of like, if you already understand that the things that you used to do don't work and you want change, then don't have an opinion on it. Let God do what he got to do because the moment you put your two cents in, yeah, okay, it not going to work. Amen. Yeah. But yes, that's basically all that I have for you guys based on this topic. So I really do hope that you guys receive something from this. And I pray that you guys understood everything that I said. And I know by the grace of God, this definitely helps someone. So I pray that you guys, you know, just enjoyed this video. And I can't wait for the next one. If you guys ever have any questions or comments or anything that you have to say, please feel free to comment down below or just literally DM me directly on my Instagram. So thank you guys so much. Praying that you guys all have a blessed rest of your week. And yeah, God bless you.